7 a.m. waking up in the morning, alarms got me wide-eyed with no warning, but I stopped snoring, got a big appetite, what could be in the fridge, possibly feed me right, maybe some meat, hey wait, that's it, Panic's gonna have himself some bacon strips, cook them in the pan, have time man to man, good to eat, what could beat, no other food can. Hello everyone, this is Lord of Mass Panic, Panic, Lord Mass, whatever. Um, thank you to, to the tone, number one, for giving me that awesome uh, topic, which is bacon strips. Uh, remember guys, if you want your, um, topic put it in a wrap, um, make sure to put it in the comments. No need to subscribe, no need to like, no need to favor this video, I don't really care. Just give me topics, because I like doing that. That was actually much better than the last one. It was fun. Um, but yeah. I have a little gameplay here of me using the FAL for the first time playing Black Ops in about two weeks. This was the first game I've sat down and played. I decided to use a brand new gun. Put, I just tricked it out, put some epic teal dot sight attachment and my uh, epic tiger camo because it's just oh so sexy. And I just decided, hey, let's go for it. It's a really loud gun. I noticed that. But then I ended up, I didn't even know my kill streaks at this point because it had been so long since I last played. So this is a very big surprise because uh, Modern Warfare 2 is very different in its game mechanics and very different in how you kill players and deal with your players and, you know, a lot less, less cheap taxis, but that also makes it a slower game. Okay, not here to talk about video games, here to talk about more Cineplex Odeon stories because that's where I work. We have another work story. Okay, one, first story, a bit racist teeny bit racist. Racist only to me. I don't really think he got it, but I know that it was just very uncomfortable for me. Um, so this guy comes up to the counter. He's of East Indian descent. That's where the race card comes into this. And, uh, he wants popcorn and stuff. So I give him, I'm serving him, taking his order, and I ask him for his scene card. And he, now the scene card is a special card um, that comes with Cineplex, and they and it gives you um, special points for ordering tickets and 10% off in concession, and that's really awesome. So, but we're as Cineplex employees required to um, ask for this card. So I asked, and uh, he didn't speak the best English because he he didn't he, you could tell English wasn't his first language, and um, he c was just ordering, and I said, "Hey, do you have your scene card?" And he instantly pulls out his social insurance number card. Now that is a card in Canada, if you, for you non-Canadian folk, that allows you to work. And it has a number on it, and it's also very, very, very prevalent in um, fraud and um, identity theft and stuff like that. So it's not exactly good to show that to a person. And I was a bit shocked when he showed it to me. Um, but I just told him, okay, whatever, you don't get it. You don't, you don't get the fact that it's a scene card. You would have known what it was. Just never mind, just put it away. And uh, so I, I took to handle that fairly okay. And then, so to him, I'm asking him for his social insurance number. Um, and that's not good, because I don't know why he pulled it out, but that's just, yeah. Um, I, I'm Because he, he's not from this country, and it's pretty much I'm just asking, do you, do you have permission to work here? Second, his total was 9-11, and I told him that, and as soon as I said it, I was just like, oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's not good. Um, and it was only, I think, I, he didn't realize it, but I did, because it, it was just bad. I just figured it was kind of, it was just bad, bad coincidence. Bad, bad, bad coincidence. So, second story, if you, you are, didn't already close the video because I'm so racist and probably not funny, but um, when you are in Cineplex and you're supposed to make popcorn, you start with the bag, of course, as any popcorn would, you start with the bag. And um, with the bag, you have to put your fingers in it and then you have to flick it down. Flick it right down and and uh, snap open the bag so the bag completely opens. Hi, doggy, and uh, then you can feel free to put popcorn in it, and it, that's awesome. But um, at that point, I I am not that good at flicking the bags. Like I can do it most of the time, but about ninety percent of the time I'm good. But the other ten percent, I either throw it across the floor, hit someone, break it, rip it, whatever. But this time it was an extra fail. I had whipped it down so hard and so out of proportion that it smacked a popcorn scoop. The popcorn scoop went flying uh, and hit some other employee, and then I was stuck with a ripped bag that was also on the floor by the end of that. Um, so that was really embarrassing because my leaders were all like, oh, wow, um, he's so new because I am new. But uh, yeah, that was just my little embarrassing story. 
Okay, so next thing I want to talk about, because I have plenty more minutes, is I, I have run out of things to play. Like, I've been playing Modern Warfare 2, and I really don't like doing live commentaries. I, I never stick with them, and I never finish the game, because I just go back to the multiplayer, and I'm not going to start saying, what do you want to see, because that's stupid. What I want to do, because I've been watching a lot of Captain Sparkles videos. Captain Sparkles is one of my favorite commentators of all time, and I love the way he plays, and I love recently what he's been doing, is doing Minecraft commentaries, no Call of Duty commentaries or anything like that, and... I cannot stay away from the Call of Duty commentaries. I love them because they're just so easy to get. And we've ended the game, blah, 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 blah. I did well, yes, but it's not the end of the commentary. Just thought I'd let you know because there's still plenty more to go. Okay, so Captain Sparkles. And he does things like group commentaries. And he just gets everyone together and they do like some Minecraft scenario. What I would like to do is get some subscribers or friends together. Not, not, I don't want to, I want to do this outside of ABOP. Um, Axel's Basket of Panic, my two friends that I do commentaries with, I want to do this outside of them. I want to grab some people from the community who are interested and get them on Skype. Skype is, an, a, necessary, is a necessary requirement for this. And we will play an online game together. I don't know what game, maybe Minecraft, if we can find some, some sort of server that allows that kind of stuff. Or um, we could do Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 is a big one. That is a really fun game. And I think we could probably just do some live commentaries over that, but this is all Xbox, because I don't have a computer that's capable of the PC gaming. Um, but yeah, if anybody has, like, a special story multiplayer game that can handle people online together, that would be awesome. I think that would be great. I just want to get people from the community together. You can send me a message, or you can post a comment, and I will get to you, and, uh, we will work something out, and we'll get, like, I'm hoping to get at least three or four of us, and I want to just have a, a bit of a... Lord of Mass Panic and Friends kind of commentary thing going on. And that should be really, really fun. Um, so yeah, if you're really interested in that, if you think it'd be a cool idea, if you think um, you won't be annoyed by me too much commentating with you or anything like that, that'd be then feel free right ahead. I might actually pull in one friend just so I know exactly who's coming in. But uh, there's no age limit, just as long as you're cool and you're not annoying. Because if you're annoying, then I doubt anyone annoying watches my videos. Besides you, Captain Waffle. Haha. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. User participation, I um, mean, subscriber participation. Yeah, feel free, come, and we will do that together. I really want to do it, so I'm, I'm actually really serious about, about it. If, you, if you're interested at all, message me or comment or what a message would be better. But yeah, just let me know, and we, you don't even have to subscribe. You can just be a random bum off the street as long as you have good, as long as you're fun to, to play with, and you have Skype. Skype is necessary. <laughs> okay, so. If I had anything else to say, it would be that I... Oh, wait. Hang on. I have a question. Okay. This is this is the question. Because I was asking someone questions the other day, and I think it, they were really good questions. So one of the questions is... And th you can post this as long as you're... Uh, with your rap topic as well. That's perfect. Okay. You guys say, any animal in the world, real or unreal... It doesn't matter if it exists or not. Um, it, but it, it don't make an actual pet. Take any animal that you can possibly think of, any animal, and if you could have that thing completely friendly and tamed, what would it be? What, what would you have as a pet? Anything in the entire world, anything in the entire non-existent world, anything in the entire fantasy world. Think about it. If you can, if you can think of it, it can exist. Preferably not something you made up, because I don't want a giant description of what it is, just as long as it's something n normally fantasy-like. It doesn't have to be real, it just has to be, you know, tameable. Not even tameable, just something, some anything. For, for me, I'd love to have a white tiger. I think that'd be awesome. You have a crappy day, you come home, and, and you just cuddle up to a nice, fuzzy, warm, white tiger. It's like, it's just so bamfy and, and cute at the same time. But yeah, that's that's my answer. Um, but yeah, post in the comments, and the one that I like the best, or I think is the most interesting, which would be liking the best, will be put into next time's wrap. Next wrap will be about a domestic animal, no, a wild animal that you want to have domestic. So yeah, just think of something creative, think of something that you would really like, and that will be the next wrap. So yeah, I'm putting comment questions of the day, and, uh, uh, wrap uh, topics into the same thing. I am really enjoying this. Okay. So yeah, this has been Lord of Mass Panic, that was Search and Destroy, and I am out.